Looking for magic cards? Channel Fireball offers a wide selection of magic singles and sealed product. Use promo code LVD at checkout to get my personal token for free. Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a Blue Rat Dragonborn deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon before we switched over to Historic. And the centerpiece of today's deck is a Dragonkin Berserker, a 2 mana 2 2 human Berserker from Kaldheim, has first strike and says boast abilities you activate, costs 1 generic mana less to activate for each dragon you control. So that not only applies to the Berserker's boast ability, but it also applies to other creatures which can potentially come up with our Arnie Broken Brow. And then for Foreigner Red, by boasting, which means we need to be attacking with a Berserker or have attacked with it this turn, we get to make a 5 5 Red Dragon creature token with flying. So so the goal of the deck is to play some cheaper dragons so we can potentially boast with our berserker before getting to 5 mana so we can potentially play something like a sprite dragon which is a 2 mana 1 1 fairy dragon so that counts for the discount on berserker so we can potentially already boast on turn 4 that way we also have Mistwalker as a shapeshifter with Changeling, which also counts as a dragon. So those are a few ways we can help get our Berserker to boast a turn sooner. And then we've got a few supporting cards to make sure that the Berserker can keep attacking with pump spells like Infuriate and other burn spells that can combine with First Strike to take out any opposing blockers. Could also be playing with Rune of Flight or some other flying equipment, although most of the other cards in the deck already have flying, so they would only be good with the Berserker itself. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck, starting out with some of our one mana cards, where we have the full playset of Opt to scry one and draw a card, a cheap cantrip to enable our Sprite Dragon and to help us find our Berserker, then two copies of Infuriate can give plus three plus two to target creatures, so great with our Berserker, which has first strike, but also very nice with our Goldspan Dragon, which generates a treasure token whenever we target it. And then we've got the full playset of Shock as some cheap interaction. Then a two mana, of course, our full playset of a Dragon King Berserker, four copies of a Sprite Dragon, a 1 1 Fairy Dragon with Flying and Haste, and whenever we cast a non creature spell, we can put a plus one plus one counter on it, so that's another reason to include all these cheap instants and sorceries. Then we also have two copies of a Scorching dragon fire to stay on theme dealing three damage to target creature or planeswalker and also exiling that creature or planeswalker potentially at instant speed then at three mana full placet of mistwalker one for shapeshifter with flying is a changeling so counts as a dragon and for one on a blue we can give it plus one minus one until end of turn so it can potentially attack for a bit more damage Two copies of Arnie Brokenbrow as a 3-3 legendary human berserker with haste and has boast for one mana, saying you may change Arnie Brokenbrow's base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures we control until end of turn. So if we have Arnie in play alongside berserker and at least one dragon, we can activate Arnie's boast ability for free since it gets a one mana discount. And then if we have a 5-5 dragon, we can turn Arnie into a six powered creature. So that can potentially come up. And then we also have two copies of a Burgi, God of Storytelling, which also synergizes with Boast if we decide to play the Creature Half, which is a legendary creature god, saying whenever we cast a spell, add a red mana to our mana pool, and until end of turn we don't lose this mana as steps and phases end, so that can also help us cast multiple cheap spells in the same turn. And creatures we control can Boast twice during each of our turns rather than once, so that can potentially help us make two dragons with our Dragon Kim Berserker, which is usually a win more ability, but you never know. And then we can also play Horn of Bounty for 5 mana, a legendary artifact, saying discard a card and exile the top 2 cards of our library, and we can play those cards this turn, so that can give us some card advantage and maybe get rid of additional legendaries that we don't need. And then at the top end of our deck we've got 4 copies of Leyline Tyrant, a 4-4 dragon with flying, saying we don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end, and when the tyrant dies we can spend any amount of red mana, and when we do it deals that much damage to any target, so another very powerful dragon by itself and also has a lot of great synergy throughout the deck. And then a Goldspan Dragon, another new addition from Kaltheim, 4-4 Dragon with Flying and Haste, and whenever it attacks or becomes the target of a spell, we get to make a treasure token, and we can sacrifice treasures to make two mana instead of just one, so we can also potentially attack with a Goldspan Dragon, and then use those treasure tokens to boast with our Berserker to still make an additional 5-5 Red Dragon creature token. So you can kind of see where this is going. And then the mana base includes four copies of Fabled Passage, two copies of Temple of Epiphany, four copies of the Blue Red Pathway, and then plenty of mountains, especially for Leyline Tyrant and for Islands. So that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw and we've got a Keeper. Have to wait and see what they do in turn one to decide if we want to opt or shock. Fireblade Charger. Yeah, we'll keep up Shock, maybe kill Robber of the Rich. 
And then Berserker might have a hard time surviving here. All right, opponents go to Shadow Spears to so some sort of red whites equipment deck. So I could Sprite Dragon on two and then turn three Berserker plus Opt. Turn four, we could maybe boast. And if they kill the Sprite Dragon, we can still play Leyline Tyrant. Arnie is also interesting, but I think we want to get this uh, Berserker in play. So we'll opt. Mistwalker can go to the bottom. And we'll hit for two. And yeah, next turn we can already boast. Also, they might keep the Blade Master on defense to block the Berserker. Showdown of the Skulls. Alright, so opponent going for the card advantage. But that does mean we get a clean attack with Berserker. And yeah, 1 1 double strike doesn't trade for 2 2 first strike. Next turn is going to be even easier to boast. As your opponent plays Hallow Blade into Fire Blade Charger, puts a counter on Hallow Blade. And one mana left. For Light of Hope, putting essentially two counters on the Charger. Alright, so Berserker would end up dying if we attack with it, but we could still get a dragon out of the deal. Arnie can also boast for free here, turning into a six-powered creature. So we've got some options. Right now we have two dragons in play, so it only costs us three mana to boast. Not quite enough to Tyrant and still boast. So maybe we don't want to attack this turn. Instead, just play Leyline Tyrants plus Opts, attack with our Flyers. Kind of like that idea. So let's Opt first. Although I'm probably going to fetch up a Mountain either way. So I can do that now. If we draw into Scorching Dragonfire would be a great answer for the Fire Blade Charger. Since exiling it means it doesn't trigger. Bottom. And another Sprite Dragon. So, if I play Sprite Dragon, I can still boast for two mana here. I guess that's worth it. Attack with all. And then lose Berserker, but get another Dragon. Points at six, they can try and gain life with Shadow Spear. Otherwise, they're taking a lot of damage in the skies. Still have a hasty Arnie representing six damage. Another showdown, probably not what they need here. Although they did find pacifism, which can maybe. Shut down one of our dragons. So if they give Hallowblade lifelink, hit us for 6, put us at 12, they would still be dead to our flyers, so... Yeah, that should be game. If they still had their double strike enabler, they could have maybe stabilized here. But yeah, GG's. Opponent packs it in, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. We've got a slightly controlling hand with Opt Shock and then double gold span as top end cards. 
So this one might end up being too slow. Although we can interact a little bit and Opt can find more cheap cards we can run out. I'll try it. It's going to be a turn one Archfiend's Vessel. Now I could shock it in case the opponent's sitting on something like Village Rights. Since we don't have a great answer to the 5-5 five five Demon if they Village Rights and then reanimate it. If they have something like the Malachi Rebirth to go with it especially. But if we kill it, they can also potentially turn 3 Call of the Death Dweller it, so we're maybe doing them a favor. It's already an interesting choice. I think I will go ahead and shock it now. Opponent does nothing, Burgi to draw. So I'm okay playing a tap land here. A Leyline Tyrant isn't bad. Gives me a turn 4 play. Burgi plus Tyrant, also pretty sweet combo. Although I mentioned Burgi's gonna eat a removal spell here. Nope, still nothing. So maybe they were counting on Vessel to Village Rights. Alright, Myers Grasp. That makes sense. Well, we've got a lot of Goldspan Dragons. And those at least survive Myers Grasp. Now our opponent's not playing Lurus as companion, so they are playing some more expensive cards in there too. And they're just playing Lurus in the main deck. But we get to Goldspan. Opponent's at 12. They can gain 3 up to 15, maybe shrink down one of my dragons or make a 5-5. I guess making a 5-5 is pretty effective here. So we want to find something like Infuriate to get past it. Or just make enough dragons that we can go wide. Favor to give Allurus two additional power. If that works. And there's our Berserker. Although that's just going to die to a Mars Grasp. So probably start with Opt to see if we can find some removal. And Infuriate's perfect. So let's see here. Can play another Goldspan. Attack with all. They are holding priority, so they might have a removal spell, which could punish us, but we'll try this anyway. And then we'll infuriate. Make another treasure. And it's going to be village rights, all right, so they did have the rights. So we still hit them for eight. And then probably okay to run out Berserker to force them to spend two mana on Myers Grasp. Otherwise we can block Lurus. And then next turn we've got yet another Goldspan. Another vessel into village rights, so they can make another 5-5. Five five. And then they might have removal for Berserker, so they would go up to 14. Yeah, that might let them survive here. Alright, they went with the Mars Grasp so they could attack, but now they can't replay vessel. So they would be dead to four hasty dragons. 
Another Berserker as well. Alright, GG's. We ended up needing all three gold spans, as well as an Infuriate to get past the 5 5. Although all this extra mana from Goldspan Dragon also synergizes nicely with Leyline Tyrant. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hands, okay, not particularly exciting. Probably gonna fail passage turn 1 and then turn 2 opt, give ourselves more time to have a better idea whether or not we want to keep lands on top or not. And then turn 3 Burgi, which does synergize with a Leyline Tyrant at least. Opponent foretells a card in blank green. Maybe a poison the cup. And we'll pass. Nothing from our opponent so far. Do I want a temple? Not particularly. So whatever I play here is probably gonna die. Maybe we just Pride Dragon then. Keep up shock. That's gonna be a Thieves Guild Enforcer. Mills me for two. I'll hold on to the shock for now. Thirst kills Sprite Dragon. And a Vengeful Reaper, so maybe this is a Death Touch Synergy deck. In which case, I think I'm okay killing Enforcer, since it doesn't kill Finn. And it also doesn't kill Vengeful Reaper, which can block my various dragons. And now given that we have double A-Line Tyrant, I probably want to play this as a red source. Next turn we've got a couple options. Gonna see a fight spell maybe. Nope, feed the swarm. Cost him four life. No red mana floating. Alright, so this opens up gold span attack, get a token. Or we can leyline tyrant with red mana up, so if they kill it, I get to take out Blight Blade. I'm kind of liking getting the extra mana from gold span. Take three. And another Blood Chief's Thirst gives us more treasure. Alright, so let's see here. Five lands, two treasures, they only make one mana now. So I could play Burgi into Leyline Tyrants and get a red mana for free. Or we could save Burgi to play Horn of Bounty, but I'm kind of liking Burgi plus Tyrant here. Red mana doesn't go away thanks to Leyline Tyrant. So now we've got a removal spell for Blind Blade if they get rid of my dragon. And another Leyline Tyrant coming up. Another Thirsts. Blind 
blind blade evaporates. And more Mistwalkers. So not enough mana to double spell, but we can just lay line tyrant here. We are currently winning the race. And every turn that goes by where we get to float a bunch of mana, we represent more damage with Tyrant. Opponent looks to have a Call of the Death Dweller perhaps to get back two creatures. Another Blind Blade, and our opponent passes. Make sure to float our mana. And now we could play Horn of Bounty if we wanted to. Mistwalker doesn't have a second blue source to trade for Vengeful Reaper. I guess we would need two additional blue sources. But our opponent's at eight, so I think we just attack with Tyrant and then take it from there. Maybe play a Mistwalker pre-combat to get an extra mana from Burgi. So if this connects, opponents at 4, and the floating mana that we have is representing lethal. Opponent does nothing. Eliminates the Mistwalker, that's fine. And uh, 3 damage coming in, 2 mana untapped, can't think of much that saves them here. And then our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and we've got our Berserker plus Mistwalker, so setting up a turn 4 Dragon token. We'll keep. Temple wants to find an untapped land, perhaps. Facing a Gigantha, the Wellspring deck, so I'm not exactly sure what they're up to. Temple finds Infuriate, which, you know, could have its uses with Berserker. But we should prioritize hitting our land drops so we can boast on turn 4 if we don't face any disruption. Now of course Berserker is pretty vulnerable to Stomp from Bonecrusher Giant, which is probably the most played card in standard, so it's never going to be a very competitive deck, but at least we can have some fun. Opponent with an Indatha Triome. So Abzan. Given the Leyline Tyrant, we probably want to play this as a red source, even though Mistwalker likes to have a bit of extra blue mana. Nessian Wanderer. Well, at least we can still attack into it. Although, expect him to block here. Opponent takes it, says so they value their Wanderer. And then get to Mistwalker. And hopefully next turn boast. They might have some enchantment based removal here. Another tapped Triome. And our opponent passes. Do we still want to play this as a red source? I think we'll go with blue. Move to combat, attack. And yeah, we get to boast. And it's going to be easier and easier to keep boasting. Opponent gets to 4 mana, binding, gonna get rid of Berserker. Alright, he did his job, and gave us a dragon. And now we gotta try and end the game. So probably just hit for 6, play Leyline Tyrants. Keeping up our temple. So we can either opt shock or just float mana for Tyrant. Maybe this is some sort of enigmatic incarnation deck. It's gonna be Banishing Light for now. Presumably getting rid of Leyline Tyrants. So this only triggers if he dies and not when he gets exiled, so that works. 
But we do have a bunch of damage coming in here between our two flyers and the shock, so might still be able to kill them if they don't have anything else. So do we shock their face now? That way I get to pump Mistwalker twice next turn. Untap, attack. And then pump once. Alright, sweet. Had another Berserker ready to go here. But yeah, as you can see, sometimes making a single 5-5 five five on turn 4 is good enough. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. We've got uh, turn 2 Berserker, turn 3 Mistwalker. And then I have to decide if I want to play my Fable Passage, or if we want to opt on turn 1. Um, if I opt and find a land, everything's fine. And then we can play this turn 4, so maybe that's the play. Give myself the highest chance of curving out properly. As opposed to fetching and then needing to top deck a land. Turn one Corster. So life gain deck. Bottom opts. Alright, pathway will do. So far so good. Can even block the Corister here. Never mind, glass caskets. Exiles Berserker. Alright, so we gotta switch game plan. Burgi might end up being Horn of Bounty. So Mistwalker here seems like the play. And then next turn we can Sprite Dragon plus Dragonfire. And wait to play Horn to try and take over the late game. Sure, so we'll Sprite Dragon, Scorching Dragonfire on Angel. And then probably just hit with a dragon so they can't attack back with Corister. They need five mana before they can pump it, so maybe next turn we'll attack. Right. Aspirin does change the math. Probably get a second blue source so we can pump Mistwalker once again. Play Horn. And then now I should probably hang back. We've already played land for the turn, so no reason to activate Horn here. But next turn we can go digging. Speaker. Alright. Into a second Aspirant. That does start adding up. So we want to find some cheap removal. So we cannot block Princess with our Sprite Dragon. We can trade for Chorister. Arnie doesn't help. So get rid of Mistwalker first. Alright, those are both good. Do we keep digging is a question. I think we gotta find an answer for Speaker though. So shock would be ideal, or land plus two mana removal. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Play Spry Dragon. Berserker. And then do I shock Speaker or Aspirant? If I shock Aspirant, I can still hit for 3, put him to 23. But next turn they can potentially gain enough to activate Speaker, so I think we just kill Speaker here. And then Spry Dragon gets to attack. And next turn we can maybe try and boost. And 
And then I can consider fetching now to thin out the deck a bit. They've got a 5-5 Angel on defense. Infuriate could still get past it. Shock is close. So if I were to attack, they block Berserker. I get two boasts. But uh, it's kind of the end of our story. So what am I hoping to hit if I get rid of Shock? Infuriate, I guess. Or Scorching Dragonfire. Well, ask and you shall receive. Another Burgi doesn't seem necessary. And then now these two get to attack. We can boost Infuriate. And we get to make a couple dragons here at least. still pump our Mistwalker. Four mana for a third Aspirant. And that's also adding up. <laughs> Make it four. All right. Can we beat four counters per turn? This bluffed princess is getting out of hand. Don't have any bounce spells for her. So this is going to be tough. Five five life link attacks can block except for Mistwalker jumping, and then the angel's gonna grow. And gold span to draw. I mean it's good, but it's not great. So what am I hoping for if I get rid of it? Um, more interaction, I suppose. A Leyline Tyrant, maybe. Found a shock. So I can attack with Berserker. They can still block with Angel Vitality. If I shock their face, it goes back down to 5-5, five five, but it's still a profitable block. But it, I can also send in the uh, Sprite Dragon and the 5-5. Five five. And even Mistwalker, I suppose. Although Mistwalker's doing a good job on defense. Although we'll get another dragon here. So I guess we'll attack. Take out one Aspirant, at least. And pump twice. So we're trying to fight the good fights. But these aspirants are gonna overwhelm us. Castle Ardenvale gives them another 1 1 token. They can just keep piling onto the Bluffed Princess. Now an 8 8. So next turn, I'm gonna have to chum block with Mistwalker. Scorching Dragon, fire the draw. Send in Sprite Dragon, the two 5-5s. Five and then if they don't block in such a way that Dragonfire lines up, we can uh, still activate Horn. All right, so we get to Dragonfire, one of the Aspirants. If we had four blue mana, we could essentially kill our own Mistwalker to fizzle the life gain from Princess. 
but we're one blue mana short. And now the all seed can just give protection on blue and attack us for lethal. Alright, GG's, close game. But the uh, princess got away. So this would have been a nice spot to have a couple bounce spells. Which is definitely something worth considering. Alright, we're on the play and I think we've got a keeper. Sadly no 3 or 2 mana dragon to go with our berserker. But we can hope to draw one in the meantime. And if not, we still have Berserker into Tyrants on turn 4. So let's see what he points up to. Turn 1 Swamp. Second Swamp. Doesn't bode well for Berserker sticking around. Alright, Skyclave Shades, okay. Picked up Burgi, which we can run out here. Also synergizes nicely with Leyline Tyrants. And then next turn I'll be able to play Tyrant, maybe Shock as well, thanks to the extra mana. Scavenger, 1-3 Death Touch. That's fine. Can still attack into it thanks to Shock, so... Yeah, we'll play Leyline Tyrants. Attack. They might just block Burgi, which is okay. But now we get to blow out first strike plus two damage. Could even shock again here if I wanted to. But we'll keep that mana up since the floating mana doesn't go away with Tyrant. And next turn we can try and boast. Death Dweller gets back. Nighthawk Scavenger. And a Hateful Eidolon. Well, we can try the same trick as last turn. And a second shock means we could just main phase these. Yeah, seems good enough. Attack with all. And our opponent already concedes. Get to boast, make a dragon. Next turn, get to boast again. And then Leyline Tyrant also threatens to take over the game thanks to the extra red mana from Burgi. Probably gonna play the pathway as a red source just to sink more mana into Leyline Tyrant. So yeah, this uh, Dragonborn deck is pretty sweet when it gets to do its thing with Dragonkin Berserker. Doesn't always pan out, of course, being a two toughness creature means it's very vulnerable to a lot of the commonly played removal spells in standard but we still have the plan B of our powerful dragons to take over the late game. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.